grade. Thank you so much for joining me, Miss Palacios, for our fourth episode of Talking with Friends. I am so excited to get to talk about Hispanic and Latinx Heritage Month. Woo! We are going to celebrate together, we are going to learn together, and we're going to grow together. So let's get ready. Uh, hold on. Something's not right here. There we go. That's better. Thank you all for being here with me. I am so excited to share a little bit about myself. As you know, my name is Miss Palacios and I am a proud Mexican-American woman. My parents actually came here from Mexico in the 1970s so that I could live and grow up in the United States. So I am technically Hispanic and Latinx. I am technically Hispanic and Latina. So let's break that down a little bit actually. So if you are Hispanic, it means that you or your family member come from a country that speaks Spanish. So that's one thing that all Hispanics usually have in common is the language of Spanish. To be Latinx or Latino or Latina, it's a little bit different. It's more of a cultural and geographical term that groups people from an area together. So let's look at the different parts of Latin America. Latin America consists of parts of North America, Central America, South America, and the Caribbean. All of these places together combined make up Latin America, and it's full of beautiful people with beautiful cultures and traditions, and today we get to learn about them. So one thing that's important to note is even though we all share something in common, like the language of Spanish or the geographical area of Latin America, we are not all the same. So today we're going to celebrate some of those differences and get to learn about cultures and traditions from all over Latin America. I'm so excited to get to it. Awesome, can't wait to see what you think. Bye. All right, climbers, your turn. You tell me about your culture. My culture is important because I get to know where I come from. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. My name is Miguel. My name is Kira. My name is Paula Jimenez. My name is Kaylin Rubio. I am a American and Salvadoran. And I'm Mexican American. My dad's from Salvador and my mom's from Salvador too. Oh, my familia vive en Nuevo León. I like the Mexican culture. I love my culture. It makes me happy. My cultura is bonita. These are the colors from my mom's country. Mi cultura es importante por las personas que son alegres y trabajadoras. I'm proud of my culture and my Mexican roots because of the traditions we have, like the food. The traditional food. I like their food and their tacos. My Salvadoran side loves pupusas. Like taquitos. Me gusta el machacado, los dulces. Our favorite foods are pupusas, tamales, beans. Churros. Taquitas y arroz. Y espumillas. And the music. And the music. And also all the traditional music. Our favorite traditions are music and dancing. Romeo music. Thank you to everyone who celebrated their cultures with us. I am so, so grateful to have you at Kip Climb. Now I want to leave you all with this beautiful quote from a book chosen by my good friend Alejandro Salas. Enjoy. Hi, second graders. My name is Alejandro Salas. I am from Houston, but my family immigrated to the United States from Coahuila, Mexico. And I'm very excited to talk to you about a specific book that I wish I was able to read growing up called Dreamers by Yugi Morales. She shares this amazing message that I would like to share with you. We are stories. We are two languages. We are lucha. We are fight. We are resilience. We are hope. We are dreamers, soñadores of the world. 
We are love, amor, love. Bye, y'all. Have a good day. Take care.